Tiny World clone effect that was seen in Lil Tecca's Bossa Nova. It was edited by Omar Jones, one of the best out right now. I recommend you following him. It's kind of an old video, but no one's broken down this Tiny World clone effect yet, so I decided to do it. First thing you need, you're gonna need is you're gonna need some hardware. You're gonna need a 360 degree camera that shoots video, obviously. Now I use the Ricoh Theta Z1, but you can't buy that anymore. So you can just get away with the Ricoh Theta V. But the one everyone else uses, every videographer uses, is the GoPro Fusion. So I recommend just getting that, and that will also go together with the plugin we're going to be using. You're going to also need a monopod to set up your 360 camera. I just used this extra light stand that I had that fit on my 360 camera, but I just recommend just getting a monopod because it'll make your life easier. First thing you want to do is you want to set up your 360 camera onto your monopod, and you're going to want to place it somewhere where the texture is roughly the same, so grass, a carpet that doesn't have texture and kind of where I put it and this will help you out later on and I'll show you why. And then record different takes with your actor or your subject or your rapper in different places of where you want it to be so different performances so just have them move around. Here's three of mine but I can only use two because I didn't think about it. Just have them in different places but don't move the monopod it's just a simple clone effect like that. So once you recorded all your performances, here's where it gets different with each 360 camera. You're going to need to do your stitching, that means putting both of the lenses, the video together into a rectangular format. You're going to need to do that inside your app or your 360 camera. Okay, so this is how I get my in-app stitching. It's not that hard, I just go to my images and then I click on the picture I want to send to my iPhone and this will automatically stitch it. So I just click on it and then it will start transferring onto my iPhone. And if we go to transferred, this is how it will show up on my iPhone. It's already stitched and that's how I can get it. If you don't do it this way and you just plug in your camera into your computer, you're going to get those, you're going to get these double vision things and you're going to want to have it stitched in the app. If you have a GoPro, I'm pretty sure it's the same way. Okay, you're going to want to go to this website right here. The link is in the description. And then you're going to want to click on download FX reframe for Windows or Mac, whatever you have. Just click that. And then just go ahead and install it. So just install it. Uh, I'm just going to save it, but I already installed it. And then you're going to want to install. Click yes. And then go through it, but I already installed it. Make sure your Premiere Pro is off and you don't have it open. Sorry, I should have said that before. Make sure your Premiere Pro, you don't have it open. So once you installed the plugin, it should be simple and you can edit your footage. So you're going to want to drag in your stitched footage right here and I'll show you what the plugin does. So you're going to want your top clip, let's say your clip with your performance on top as in the one closest to the camera so you can see me right there I'm closer to the camera. You're going to want that on the top of your layers. So I have two my clips right here. I have this one and this one right. You can see me back there. Now when I said I shot three of them but I messed up is because I'm covering myself if you think about it. But anyways, let's get onto the tutorial. If you go to your effect controls, or if you go, if you go to your effects and look up reframe, GoPro VR reframe is right here and you're going to want to drag that onto your top clip. So if you see it turned my footage into this, and if we go to effect controls with my first clip selected, the top clip selected, I can change the yaw and change the settings until I want it to, I want it pointed to where I want it pointed, which is right here. And I can change the pitch to make it look down a little bit more. And then I can change the FOV to make it a small world. So the more I go, the more small world it is. And then remember I said to place your monopod on something that the textures are the same. This is why you have this ugliness underneath your 360 camera because it has to capture the monopod, right? Well, let me get rid of that real quick. It's by simple. Is I'm going to copy the top clip by holding alt, dragging up. It'll copy the top clip. And I'm going to go to the opacity and then change the bezier tool to somewhere where there isn't like a line or anything. So like right here, I'm just going to make a mask right to the side of this. Now I'm going to change the position of the most top clip now, and I'm going to cover it. Now I didn't do a good job of shooting this, but this is how you'll cover it. And you'll have to go, I'll have to go over my foot, but that's going to take more time than needed. So this is how you'll cover the monopod. So if we look at it, now we have this. Now if we need the clone effect, let me 
get rid of this okay now if we need the clone effect all we need to do is there's two ways to do this i can either mask out this top clip and have me in the front which is probably what i'm gonna do or i can mask out individual clones i'm probably gonna want to mask out the top clip of me in front because if i have clones in the background then it'll be easier to have him in the front if that makes sense so without too much exp explanation and confusion we'll just do it so i'm gonna select the middle clip now since my mask is on the front clip and i'm going to go to the opacity and then make a mask around myself just like this and it'll automatically um, go to the next one but we didn't apply the vr to the last clip so all we need to do is make sure the second clip is selected again make sure you you copy the gopro vr reframe from your effect controls press ctrl c or right click copy and make sure you paste the exact same one the exact same settings into the bottom one so let's select the bottom one now and i'm just going to paste it in there so now i'll have the clone effect with a tiny world 3d effect now you just have to repeat this process if you have more clones now let's say i want the vr to be animated so we're going to have to do this again here let me delete the mask and let me uncheck the bottom one and let me uncheck this mask again so let's say i want the camera animated like omar jones did it well that's simple i just need to keyframe the settings so let's say i'm going to keyframe the fov and the yaw the fov i'm going to start out from back here and then right in the middle i'm going to zoom it in to about right here and the yaw i'm going to start from the first frame make a keyframe there we go and at the end, actually, I'm going to move the yaw over here. And then at the end, I'm going to change it to normal to about right here. So if you look at it, the effect is like this. It's kind of like a sideways zoom in and a yaw. I probably wouldn't do this in real life, but you guys get the gist. It's, you know, something you can mess with and make your own effect. Okay, and now to get the clone in the background right there, I first need to select the top clip. And this GoPro VR reframe, just copy that and then apply that to the bottom clip. And then if I mute the top clip, you can see it has the same animation as the bottom clip has the same animation as the top clip. And all I need to do now is mask the top clip. So I'm going to unhide that, select the top clip again and do the same thing. I'm just going to mask over myself right here. And since it is animating, you might need to adjust the mask just like this. And so if you look at it, yeah, I would I do need to adjust the mask since I am moving. So I'm going to go to the first frame, animate the mask path, and then go a few frames, the mask, just move it like this. Okay. Just like this. And here, let me see if I can do this faster. Okay, and make sure your mask does not go over your other clone or else you won't see him. So do this and then I just want to... Okay, so if you look at the video now, we have a clone effect with an animating or rotating thing. And that's basically it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe. Follow my IG. Thanks for watching.